What is going on guys and welcome back to another video here on the Loud and Proud channel. You guys have been eating up the videos here with the Nasty Red and I appreciate that so much. Thank you guys so very much for all the comments, the likes, all the new subscribers that have never known about this truck until recent. Well, say hello to Nasty Red 2.0. You guys are seeing the more refined version of this truck. Those of you who have been watching for a much longer period of time understand that this thing was one of the roughest looking second gens we'd ever picked up until now. Now it is probably one of the nicest second gens we have ever had in our possession, which is pretty hard to say because we've had a lot of very clean, very nice second gens. Uh, beautiful truck. We're gonna go in all the details between these two trucks, do a side-by-side. -side. For those of you who maybe you don't have time to go catch up on all the videos in Ashley Red, or maybe you don't have time to go catch up on all the videos of the Dually, which I highly recommend because there's a lot more content spread out over time. But if you would just like a brief summary on both trucks, this video is for you. Before we get into that though, Giveaway is live for the Dually and the giveaway is live for Nasty Red right now. Let me go through this very briefly and I want to be very thorough. So this is a dual entry period that is live right now. It only happens for a couple of days sometimes at the very end of a giveaway. So this giveaway ends the Dually on May 21st, which is this Sunday. That's in just a couple of days. That's like literally two days, maybe less than that when you see this. In Nasty Red, that giveaway just started on May 17th. What does that mean? So that means that any order you place between May 17th and May 21st, and you have to place an order between those dates for this to qualify, you're getting entered with 30 times entries into that giveaway and that giveaway for the price of one order. So for example, if you placed an order for just the dually, that is awesome. Let's say it was a 2000 entry order, you're only in for the dually if it was any time before May 17th. If you do it between May 17th and May 21st, again, this is just an example. Let's say you got 2,000 entries for that order you place, you're getting 2,000 into that giveaway and 2,000 into that giveaway as well. Your entries are doubled after checkout. Yes, they are doubled into both giveaways. So if you want that incredible opportunity, the only opportunity you'll ever have dual entry for both of these trucks you see right here behind me, that is coming to an official end and closing this Sunday. They are two separate drawings, potentially two separate winners, or you could get lucky enough to get drawn for both. That could happen, but you're never going to know unless you get those entries. Check out the website. We revamped the entire website. Everything's brand new. We got some new products, whole new layout, all new design. Um, it's totally refreshed. So go check it out. Let me know what you think. Let's get into the video. So let's start here with the dually. So the dually will be a little bit more simple to go over here because we don't have a long history with this truck. It is a 1997 Dodge Ram 3500 with a five-speed manual transmission. Let's just hop in there and Give you guys a little look-see, because I know there are guys that want to see the interiors. No, the dash is not all busted up. I think everybody is convinced that if it's a second gen, it has to have a broken dash, but neither of these trucks have broken dashes. Uh, 99,452 miles on this thing now, five-speed. It is a four-wheel drive truck. Um, other than a couple of teeny tiny flaws in the interior, like clearly the driver's side never had a floor mat in its whole life, so it's got some dust buildup in the carpet doors close look listen to how this door closes it doesn't drop off it's perfectly just i mean it just it doesn't get much better than that um so beautiful truck we threw five percent tint on the sides on the back and a 50 percent uh full windshield we did swap out the cab lights from the amber and halogen bulbs to clear with small they're like basically mini led light bars and all those things they're just led lights but they're very bright look very good new clear and chrome headlight housings with an led daytime running strip up front led turn signals there are six thousand lumens very very bright and then the tires and this is where this truck really took its biggest transformation is we got rid of the tiny like 225 r16 whatever i mean they were small little stock tires. We took those off and we put on some Nitto Ridge Grapplers, a very, very high quality tire, 30570 R16. We threw a two inch spacer between the duels in the rear and it gives you that beautiful stance that you guys love about this truck. Sorry for the bird crap. We got birds moved into our barn. That's what gives it that beautiful stance you guys love is that big fat tire with that two inch spacer between them. And the two inch spacer, 
is not really for extra stance. It's really just to keep those tires with a nice gap between them. So if you get under a load or hitting bumps or tires compressed down a little bit here and there, they're not gonna rub the sidewalls together and blow a hole in the tires. There's no space or anything up front. This is just how it stands with a big fat tire on there. I mean, it looks really, really good, but that's pretty much it for the dually. It's very simple, 99,000 mile truck, little bit of pump work to give it a little extra oomph and it runs and it drives beautifully. Beautiful, low mileage, fairly unmolested truck. If, that, if that's your cup of tea, you really don't have much time. It ends this Sunday and then you will never have another opportunity to enter to win this truck unless somehow like this one, a couple years down the road, we buy it back. But that has only happened one time out of six years, so I would not bank on that. Definitely get in for this truck if you're wanting to get in because it's coming to a close very fast. And then we have the beloved beautiful, nasty red 12 odd Cummins. And the reason we call it nasty red is not because we're like, oh, that truck's gross. It's because it's got a compound turbo setup, big injectors, delivery valves, governor springs, push rods, valve stem work. Um, the whole thing was gone through and we did this in an entire build series on our YouTube channel called Nasty Red. And we basically built everything on the truck in terms of the motor, we took the transmission down to maximum overdrive. They did a full performance and towing transmission build on this thing, which has had zero complaints, zero issues. It's been phenomenal from those guys. We did the whole build series and then we got it painted way back. And at the time we're like, you know what? It didn't really turn out the way we wanted. Not the highest quality paint job, but we're like, we'll stick with it because at the time we had already paid for it. It was almost five grand and we just stuck with it for a while. Paint started to flake off and fade off after the winner got the truck and let it sit outside for a while because the clear coat and the quality of the paint was just not holding up. So what we did when we got the truck back, we did a fully custom Delmonico red paint job on this truck and just completely changed it, completely revamped it, gave it a whole new look. And then we just had to change a few other things up to go with the whole transformation. So we couldn't just do paint and then leave the wheels and tires. We couldn't just do paint and not touch the mirrors or not touch anything else. Because otherwise then it's still basically the same truck. So what we did was we took a beautiful second gen, painted it Delmonica red, had all the bodywork redone that was done previously because my paint guy was like, I'm not letting it leave unless it's redone the right way. And then put some chrome and black mirrors on it with the amber corner lights on it we put 22 by 12 kg1 forged wheels on this thing because we've never done a kg1 forged setup and i thought you know what i would love to see what it would look like on this truck so that's what we went with the polished look 33 by 1250 otro trailblade mts the tint was already put on previously when we had the truck a couple years ago 5% on the sides, 5% brow out front. CM flatbed that we also put on back in 2018 or 19. And then we went ahead and we got rid of all the decals on the truck. There's no, de no decals on the glass anymore. No decal in the corner, no big stickers up the sides, no more stickers on the sides of the cab, no more stickers on the back of the bed other than the ones that came with the bed from the bed factory where it was built. We got a beautiful in-debt fabrication exhaust tip. Check that guy out on Instagram. His tips are freaking sweet. And if you want to check him out, I'm sure he would gladly uh, allow you to put an order in for one of these, or he will do pretty much anything you want. Because we specially requested this tip, the colors and everything in the finish, and he built it and got it done. So he will do pretty much anything you want in terms of exhaust tips that are similar to this fashion. Uh, if you're willing to pay for it, he's willing to do it. For the most part, we covered most of the essentials in terms of what we did to this truck for a change. Wheels, tires, new paint, new mirrors, so removed all decals and stickers. For the most part, that was the big change with this truck in terms of redoing some stuff. The truck has 163,000 miles on it, and these are original miles. Um, this original dash, original miles. That's how many miles are on the actual truck. It's nice. It's clean. I mean, for a second gen, it's it's pretty clean. The interior in this one is a whole lot cleaner than the dually. The guy that owned this truck actually, you know what's crazy? The guy that actually owned this truck 
lived literally right behind the house that I grew up in, Indiana, in Fort Wayne, Indiana. He actually bought this truck brand new. It was a one owner truck. No, it wasn't a pretty one owner truck, but it was a one owner truck from the dealership where we lived. And he went and bought, ordered it and took delivery of it brand new in 1996. And the truck was literally like parked in a barn right behind the farm where I grew up my entire childhood. And I never one time saw the truck or if I did, I never thought anything of it. And then I was actually just vlogging. I was just filming a YouTube video. I don't know how many of you guys remember this way back. And I was just going for a test drive. I think I did like some KDP work on a, on a second gen 12 valve that I had at the time. And then I was doing like a test drive. And then I go around the block and I'm like, Dude, there's a freaking second gen for sale. Keep in mind at the time, I was like, this thing is freaking sweet. Now I would never buy a truck like that unless I was going to just sheerly do it for another project. Because it was... I mean, it had rust on the doors, rust on the rockers. But, you know, like, I was like, oh, this is so cool. The guy wants 7500 bucks. It's such a good deal. And it really was not a good deal all the time. But he did come down to 5500 My dad went and looked at it, and I was like, I don't really know what I would do with this truck. I can't really afford to buy it because I'm trying to save up money for my first giveaway. And I'm like, but, like, this could be a sweet, like, far cheap farm truck build, you know? And he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That oh, yeah, it'd be a cool farm truck build, you know? So he bought the truck. And we thought, you know, we'll be in this thing like 15 grand. It'll be sweet. So we get in with the flatbed. We're in over five. Then we do the paint. We're over five again. And then we do the freaking transmission build and all this different stuff. And, and the way that it all kind of worked was just kind of, it was just kind of interesting. Cause like it was my dad's truck and like he'd pay for some of the mods. And then like I paid for the paint and I paid for the transmission build, which right there's 10 grand. And, uh, you know, the trade-off was like, well, he's like, if you do that, you know, you can use it for the giveaway. And if it just doesn't get picked as a giveaway winner, like if the winner doesn't want that truck, then, you know, I get a free transmission building a free paint job. You probably thought it would turn out a lot better than it did. And he's like, and in exchange, you get to use the truck for the giveaway to promote it and all that other stuff. And if somebody picks it, then you just pay me what I have into the truck at the time. And then that's it. But if the winner doesn't pick it, I keep the transmission build and I keep the paint job for free. So I was like, sweet, good deal. And it was a good deal at the time because people love this trucks, you know? So we had a lot of people enter for it. And then the winner ended up picking the dually. And after that, we kept the truck. He did some more work to it. Next thing you know, you know, we've got compounds and we've got all this other stuff done to it. And it was finally kind of like, this is a sweet farm truck. He put the plow mounts on, he bought the plow for it. It was a love hate relationship with this truck. Cause we're like, it's so capable, it's so useful, but it just never got used that much. But when we did need to use it, it was like, sweet. This like We would trust this truck to drive anywhere. Like I would hop in this truck and I would legitimately, I know guys say this all the time about raggedy old, sketchy driving trucks. And they're like, oh, I drive it across the country. And you're like, really? I wouldn't drive it across town, dude. At least for me, I was like, I would literally drive this truck anywhere. Like, I don't think I ever got in this thing. It was like, crap, I hope I can make it home. Like I was just like, this thing is freaking bulletproof, like a legitimately bulletproof truck. And still to this day, I believe that. Um, since we got everything done on the truck, the fuel system, all the build, the transmission, all that stuff, ever since then, we got it finally like buttoned up. Not one real issue since we got everything addressed on this truck, not one issue has come up. And that's been at least three years now. Not one problem, not one now. Hopefully I'm not, I'm not going to jinx myself here, but not one problem with the truck. You always expect something to pop up when you're talking old used vehicles, but literally nothing has gone wrong with this thing. I have no doubts this is going to make an amazing truck for somebody. Just wanted to give you guys a little backstory. And then when we gave away Nasty Red, lighting got a little bit weird. And then when we gave away Nasty Red, after about a year and a half is when we got the phone call to buy it back. And I thought, shoot, why not? Let's buy it back. And give this thing a complete 180 and it turned out literally sweet like i said this is not one of those videos where we're gonna go through like every single crazy feature and thing that was ever done this is a brief recap like a brief description of each truck and what's done to it roughly making about 600 horsepower compound turbo 12 valve full build series on youtube go to the nasty red playlist under the playlist Nasty Red Playlist, you, you can look at every single video from the first one to the most recent one to this one. 
everything that we ever did to this truck. If you want to get more information, more knowledge on it, watch the whole build series. It's, it would be worth your time if you're interested in just learning more about this truck and how we got it to this point. You definitely could have got it to this point with all the information, knowledge you have now about good connections for paint body work, engine work, transmission work that I didn't have at the time, neither of us, me or my dad, when we had first picked this up. Um, we could have probably built this truck for half as much money as we have into it now in total since we bought it the first time. Uh, it's, it's pretty crazy, but all that being said, compound turbo, 12 valve, fully built automatic transmission, flatbed, KG1 Forge wheels, new tires, mirrors, custom Delmonico red paint job off of a newer Ram truck. Um, that's the gist of this thing. And it everything works. Radio works, cruise works, adapt, like the acceleration and deceleration buttons work on the steering wheel. It all works. Everything works just the way it's supposed to, which is just crazy. AC blows super icy cold. Heat gets super hot. It, it's really, it literally is perfect. Same with this thing. Everything works. He's AC, heat, cruise, all that stuff. Same thing with this one. Just, just a couple of rare second gens here that every function works. Both four wheel drive trucks, both nice, clean second gens that would make anybody happy to own. So that being said, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and the overview. Like I said, if you want to see the full build list in the full video series on this truck, there's a whole series and back under some of those videos, there's actually a full build list and description of everything we ever put on the truck. So if you want to go look over that stuff, um, all that stuff is there under most of those videos towards the later part of the build series on this thing. Uh, but if you want to get entered for both of these trucks at the same time, this is your only opportunity to do that. If you've ever thought about entering a giveaway, if you thought about trying it out sometime, there's no better time to do it than now. I know there, there's a lot of you that watch the video and you know, I'll be honest, um, more than probably 90% of the people that watch the videos don't enter the giveaways. They just watch the YouTube stuff too, just to watch the content, which is great. But I just want you to understand the opportunity that there is then for you to enter to win a truck. Just like our last winner, he's like, dude, I thought, what the heck, I'll buy a couple hats or something. He did, and he freaking took home a truck. That's literally the story with like all of our winners. You know, it was either I entered multiple giveaways and I finally got lucky or I entered a giveaway for the first time and I won. It can go either way, but if you want to get entered, you can't pass the opportunity up and then say, I wish I would have done it. You just got to do it. So thanks so much for all the love and all the support, regardless whether you enter the giveaways, you just like watching the videos. I appreciate it. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.